Hello and welcome to My Tech Story, set up by The Tech Partnership. My name is Joanna Baptista, although most people call me Jo. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Oxford, England, and I'm here to tell you about my journey into technology. Before we get started, please forgive me for that appalling spelling mistake. I don't quite know how I managed to spell England wrong of all things. So my journey into technology really began when I was born in London in 2001. I lived in a small apartment in Canary Wharf overlooking the River Thames. I was constantly surrounded with apartment lifts, tall skyscrapers and many more forms of tech. I learned there how technology could be applied in everyday life, whether I was aware of it or not. For example, every day I got the ferry to school and relied on our cars for a lot of things, both really useful forms of tech. By the time I had moved to Oxford and I was a little bit older, I'd already began thinking about technology. I was always questioning what it could be used for. I had parents who worked in tech. I grew up in an era of iPads, iPhones and other forms of portable gadgets. And of course, I was aware of how tech could be applied into everyday life. By the way, that isn't what my ferry looked like, but I can't draw anything better than that sailing boat. So, let's fast forward a few years to year six, where in our ICT class, we used to play this game called Granny's Garden. It was a very basic computer game, where you had to solve questions to get around the maze. It was a simple beginning, but it really got us involved with computers, and it was so much fun that it was almost a cheat way into getting involved with technology. In fact, it was so popular that I remember me and my friends constantly having competitions about who could do the maze faster and who was better. I also remember when I went to my interview for my senior school and we were told to bring an object to show to the head teacher. I remember that my friends brought in a painting or a flower or a certificate or something that was special to them. Yet lo and behold, Joanna the genius strikes again with her object. I brought my good old trusty iPad. It didn't even work because I didn't have Wi-Fi. But still, I think the head was pretty surprised with my choice. Following on, in that summer before I went to year 7, I attended this week-long coding camp called Young Rewired State, where at the end of the week we went to this coding festival. I went to a centre in the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Didcot, where, the where there was a hydrogen collider, and it was a really cool week. I was in a team with two other girls my age and one boy who was a lot older. I'm pretty sure he just felt sorry for us, but we got highly commended for our app, so I guess it was all worth it in the end. I think here is where I learned first how to code at the age of 11, and it's safe to say that I haven't stopped since. Now we have to skip forward exactly two and a quarter years to early November at the age of 13. I attended this nationwide competition for adults called the Emerging Tech Weekender. It was held at Oxford Brookes University, and going into that, it was safe to say that I was majorly outnumbered. I was the only person below like 30 years old there for the first day before I recruited another girl my age to join me. We formed a team alongside two university students and created a piece of technology aimed at teenagers that attaches to your toothbrush and connected with an app on your phone helps you to improve your brushing and reward you accordingly. By the end of Sunday, after I had missed half of the day to go to a karate championship, we had to present the idea to three incredible judges. We were completely astonished to find out that Brush, my idea, had won not only one, but three of the possible four awards. We were immediately opened up to a world of newspaper features, media interviews and ideas of our partnerships we could form. I even managed to promote the Code Club I had just started. In the last year, I've had to really think about where I want technology to take me and what I can use it for. Tech has got me into where I always wanted to be, running my own business. And now that I've started, one thing that I know for sure is that I never want to stop. I've gained access to so many exciting new technologies, the size of my fingernail, and been able to fiddle around with wiring hardware and programming software. And I now have an incredible partnership with Warwick Manufacturing Group over at Warwick University. I think I can honestly say that technology has helped me to get to where I want to be, living the things I've always wanted to live. I'm now riding on a wave of technology and business, powering me way ahead of all the other people my age. 
but I would be selfish if I said I wanted to keep this magical thing all to myself, and I really enjoy giving back with all the opportunities I've been offered. Recently, I attended a six-week-long business incubator for girls aged 11 to 22, called Outbox Incubator, which was actually amazing. I also love trying to encourage girls into STEM, either by assisting at a panel event or giving assemblies and workshops to girls in my local area. I'd also be lying if I said that I haven't learned a lot from these experiences, and that it's mostly down to all of the incredible people that have helped me along the way. The STEM X, White October and Warwick Manufacturing Group to name a few. What I'm drawing here is something that I like to call the wonky pyramid of success. Happiness, confidence or anything else you feel like you've climbed over. Tech has really helped me to overcome a lot of hurdles and climb up to the top of the pyramid. Obviously, you can never reach the end, but it will keep growing and growing the more you discover. But you also have time to stop and see the view of when, what you've accomplished sometimes. So, that is my tech story. It has led me to be many things, including confident, although apparently it's now be confident. Oops, spelling mistake. Tech has led me to be connected with loads of amazing people, to be excited about everything around me, and be happy and proud of what I've done and what my future holds. Being 14, or any age, doesn't stop you from doing the things you love. Now tell me, what is your tech story? Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Joanna Baptista and you can find me on any of the following links below. You can find me on my Twitter, which is at littlemissgeek with an extra K on the end. On my website, which is brush.co.uk and don't forget that extra H on the end of brush. And on my blog, johublogs.wordpress.com. Thank you so much again and bye!